Good morning, Medway. It's Friday the 13th, and I'm Josh. And I'm Jack, and welcome to MTV Live from the Great Outdoors. Congratulations to the girls' curling team who continued their undefeated streak by pounding the defending Wassa champions yesterday in a regular league play. The girls started with a slow 0-3 deficit, but then took control by winning 8-3. Special mention goes out to Elsa Schmidt, who made a clutch freeze draw on the button in the sixth end to seal the victory. Congratulations also goes out to the boys' curling team who won the B Championship at the Gore Mutual Curling Tournament last weekend. The boys qualify for tournament regionals in February. Way to go, curlers. Must be the coaching. Last Friday, Mr. Naliwako's tech design class went to the Aquatic Center to test out their projects. Here's Christy with the full story. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Naliwako to talk about the cardboard boat races. Why do we do the cardboard boat races? Uh, it gives the students a chance to work at a real engineering project. They've got uh, limited resources, limited amount of cardboard, uh, glue, and duct tape, and they have to design their way through this problem and find a solution. Cool. When and where did it take place? Uh, it was last Friday at the uh, London Aquatic Center. What were your strategies? We reinforced the bottoms of our boat so that it would hopefully be able to hold more weight. Uh, what else did you use to make your boat? We used cardboard, glue, and tape. If you could change anything else, what would you do? Uh, we wouldn't have called it the Titanic and maybe have made it a little smaller. Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Doreen, I'm singing. Ha, 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 ha. I love to swim in. Doreen. When you want to swim, you want See, to See, I'm gonna get stuck what? now with that song now it's in my head. Sorry. Back to you, MTV. Thanks, Christy. Yesterday, Medway's swim team attended the Robarts Fall Classic Meet. The team represent Medway with pride, and it was a day of strong swims and personal bests. Some individual swimmers to mention include Sarah Norley, who came 26th out of 123 swimmers in the 50-meter free. Curtis Wells came 16th, and Jake Fragus 27th out of 85 swimmers in the male 50 free. Megan Van Gort placed 6th in both her events, and Hannah Arnold finished the day with two-thirds and a sixth-place finish. Senior swimmer Carol Byes placed ninth in a 100-meter breaststroke, and Cam Mutter had a great day coming in eighth out of the 50-meter backstroke. Medway showed great promise in both individual and relay events, and the coaches Cushing and Pellerin are very proud of the team. The swim team is reminded that there is no practice tonight after school. See you on Tuesday. Medway is having a Scrooge drive where they collect canned foods for charity. Here's Emma, a member of MTV alumni who came back to talk about this important event. I'm here with Mark at the food bank in Elsa Craig and we're going to ask a few questions today. So Mark, what is the main purpose of the Elsa Craig food bank? Uh, the main purpose of our food bank is to provide uh, support for any families in need throughout most of the North Middlesex area and what we do is provide support mainly in uh, food, uh, providing a 10 day supply of food each month for any families that request it. We also help with financial challenges if they're unable to pay some of their utility bills. So what is your holiday goal this year? Uh, this year our goal is to be able to provide support for approximately a minimum of 140 households or families. Uh, so Medway's goal is 2,000 cans. What kind of impact will that make? It has a huge impact. It might seem to be not very much but actually the majority of the food drives at Christmas are what carry us right through until April. This holiday season, Medway is running our annual Scrooge campaign. This requires everyone in their homeroom class to bring in non-perishable food items. Each homeroom teacher will receive a box to collect these goods and the winning homeroom receives a pizza party. Student council members will be around to collect these items on the last day. All proceeds will be donated to the Elsa Craig Food Bank. Last year we raised 1,800 cans. Help us help our community during this festive season and help us to reach our goal, which is 2,000 cans. Thanks, Emma. On that note, the library is running a Food for Fines Scrooge campaign. Students with overdue fines can pay them off with food donations until December 19th. 
Please see the library staff for more details. All junior football players, please meet in the gym at the beginning of junior lunch today. And all senior football players, please meet in the gym at the beginning of senior lunch today. The student voice will be holding a tea open house today at junior and senior lunch in the library conference room. Come for snacks, fun, but most importantly, David's tea. Relax and enjoy a lunch with some friends or even do your homework. Everyone is welcome. See you there. Attention all badminton club members. There will be no badminton club on Monday. Merry Christmas. Love Miss McCullough and Mr. Hiscox. Recently, Medway's very own Dylan Goose represented Canada on their under-18 rugby team in Romania. Seamus reports. In Romania and Canada, we have the opportunity and the pleasure to transmit the game between the under-19 and the other two countries. Romania and Canada. Hello, Medway. I'm Seamus and I'm here with Dylan Goose. You played with Canada's U18 rugby team this summer. That's true. Um, I played uh, lock for the Canadian team, but uh, for here at Medway, I play eight-man. Who did you play? Uh, we played Romanian's U18 team and uh, the U19 team. We uh, lost to the, U8, or the U19s um, both games, but we uh, beat the U18 team. So uh, where did you guys play? Uh, we played in Bucharest, the capital of Romania. Um, we actually got to play in their national stadium, which was uh, pretty cool. Where do you guys play your next game? The tour was just for the one thing. Um, I'm hoping to make the U20 team. We would be going to Hong Kong in April for uh, a month, so that would be a great experience too. How did you feel about the uh, whole experience? Uh, it was pretty awesome. It was a great experience. Uh, we got to meet the entire uh, men's rugby team, hang out with them, uh, and uh, just have a good time. Yeah. That's all, and back to MTV. She. La Sash Connor reușește să intre în terenul nostru de sintă. Thanks, Seamus. All students who have an individual education plan and would like to write their exams in a resource, please come to room 143 to sign up. A big thank you goes out to all DE peer supporters and best buddies who helped with yesterday's dance. And a special thanks to all who helped set up and take down. The dance was a huge success. And the murals are starting up again, cowboys. Come and pick up your packages at lunch. This time we will only be playing dodgeball. Get your teams stacked up and get ready for fun and competition. Thank you to everyone who participated in the World Vision Coin Blitz. If you have any more spare change, please bring it to Guidance and put it in the box on the front desk. Last year's Grade 9 peer supporters, please come to Room 224 at Senior Lunch for a very important meeting. Now here's Sean with a look at this weekend's weather. Hey Medway, I'm Sean here with your weekend forecast. Bundle up because it's going to be cold. Today is negative 6, but it's going to feel like negative 11 with some scattered flurries. Tomorrow is going to be negative 6, but feel like negative 15 with some light snow. Sunday is going to be negative 6, feeling like negative 6, and is going to have some scattered flurries. Monday is going to be negative 6, feeling like negative 9 with some variable cloudiness. Back to you, MTV. Congratulations to the boys hockey team on a 4-2 victory last night against the Clark Road Trojans. The Cowboys came out strong in the first period and gained a 3-0 advantage on goals by Ryan Mashrinke, Kenny Chisholm, and Ben John. After a scoreless second, Clark Road was able to close the gap by scoring two quick goals in the third, but Medway fought hard to hold the lead and were able to eventually seal it with a goal by Cam Jowett in the final minute. Special mention goes out to Ben John on a four-point effort and Alex Takerowitz for his 27 saves and steadying influence in goal. Way to go, Cowboys! As we roll into the winter holidays, Student Council has something special planned. Let's find out what. Hey, Medway, guess what? Next week is... Spirit Week! Spirit Week! Spirit Week! You don't want to miss out. Let's see what Student Council has in store. On the first day of holidays, Student Council gave to me... Ooh, hot chocolate. Don't miss out on the special treat that's being given out today. On the second day of holidays, Student Council gave to me. Do you think you have what it takes to win the Christmas wrapping contest? Bring your game to the CAF on Monday. Prizes will be rewarded. On the third day of holidays, Student Council gave to me. Hey, you look just like me. So we're twins or something. Find your twin on Tuesday. On the fourth day of holidays, Student Council gave to me. Wednesday is Spirit Day. 
So pull out all your Medway gear and show that cowboy pride. On the fifth day of holidays, the council came to me. Show off your tackiest Christmas sweater. Happy holidays, love student council. Well, that's all your announcements for today, Medway. Have a great weekend, and thanks for tuning in to MTV. See you next week.